till six. Now, a Birmingham councillor claiming a lack of doctor's surgeries in Lozells has helped make it the worst hotspot for coronavirus in the second city. Wazim Zafar says the NHS group that looks after the area has failed to provide the health care provision it should and that the matter has got to be looked into urgently. He also says three quarters of all recent deaths in the Lozells ward are down to COVID-19. There have been 20, according to latest figures. And Councillor Wazim Zafar is with us on the show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're talking about a small but significant number here that you say makes Lozells the hotspot for COVID in Birmingham. Yes, the, the data published by the Office of National Statistics uh, clearly conveys that the three uh, three of the seven super output areas that they break the data down into are within uh, the Lozells ward that I live and represent as a councillor. And that actually correlates with the, the fear, our worst, uh, you know, our worst fears when during the peak of coronavirus, I used to wake up and every morning I'd either have a WhatsApp message or a text message or something on social media to say that somebody in our very close-knit community has passed away uh, because of, of COVID-19. And for, for me and, and the community who for years have been campaigning for better primary care services in a in a neighbourhood which is one of the most socially deprived, has one of the lowest male life, male life expectancies in the city, uh, is, is riddled with huge health inequalities. Uh, we feel that, that the campaigning we did, uh, which, which didn't get us anywhere because for years we were promised by all sorts of different health commissioners for better primary care services which are closer to the community so members of our community can access them at the first stage to prevent these underlying health issues and to cure these health and uh, uh, underlying health issues at the in the shortest possible stage so we feel deeply let down we need an urgent change sorry uh, let, let down by the nhs let down by, uh, by, by health commissioners who commission services, let down by primary care services, let down by our GPs. We cannot. I've got constituents who have to wait days and at times weeks to get GP appointments. This is not the way to do things. This is not the way my constituents should be treated and have been unfortunately treated for many, many years. But and is, is that not the same in other areas as well? Wherever you look around the West Midlands, there are people waiting considerable times in some places to get GP appointments. I hear from other other sections of, uh, of our city that this is the case, but in a ward where we know we've got such huge issues, right? The facts and the you know the statistics and the the maps of social uh, deprivation for Lazelles haven't changed for decades. And what we were, we were promised. Uh, uh, very early on uh, in 2011 when this new health centre opened, the Finch Road Primary Care Health Centre, that that centre will be full of services, diabetic, diabetic clinics, uh, clinics, support for those suffering from various health conditions which are uh, prevalent within, within our neighbourhood and amongst our communities here in Lazelles. That nothing was. We had a couple, we've had a couple of GPs in that building, and by and large, the space within that building has been used by, for office space for citywide organisations. In- I'm, I'm, Wasim, I'm trying to get the correlation between a lack of doctor surgeries and more people contracting COVID-19 in the, the Lozells ward. Um, okay. So, how, so- how, does, how does that correlate? Because you don't have to go to a doctor's surgery to get COVID-19, do you? Yeah. So what what we don't have any evidence of, to be absolutely clear, is that there's been a high number of cases of COVID-19 in Lazelles. What we do have is those that died, um, uh, you know, in one case, Lazelles West super output area, 73 percent of the people that died within uh, that particular super output area had COVID. So for me, it's the lack of resilience of our residents to fight off COVID because they've got underlying health conditions. Their health is very, very poor and they couldn't fight off COVID. And part of the reason their health is poor is because they're not able to access services as quickly as possible. And at times they're having to travel across the city to access services. So historically, you're saying there's inequalities in health care provision. Absolutely. This, that's exactly what I'm saying. We, our communities cannot fight COVID if they're not fit enough to fight COVID. We know some people who do not have health underlying health conditions uh, are young and fit. They could fight this. And these aren't cases. Right? Over 80 percent of these cases in these three super output areas that, that cover that cover the Lazales ward are out there in the community. Are, are people 80 percent over 80 percent of these died in the community. So these aren't people in care homes. So underlying health conditions like what? Could, could they have been avoided, are you saying, if they had access to doctor surgeries and health care? 
Absolutely. That's exactly what I'm saying. They could have been, you know, we, 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 we could have helped our communities fight issues such as diabetes, which we know is a is a major. I'm a type two diabetic myself. And at times I to access services, I have to go to the other side of the city. That should never be the case. We, we've got this fantastic investment right in the heart of our neighborhood, the Finch Road Primary Care Centre, which is a white elephant because we've had we haven't had the level of service in there that this community needs or the health commission should have commissioned. But uh... COVID-19 is passed on from person to person. I mean, could there be any other reasons for higher incidences in Los Els? So I, I don't have evidence of that. I know by and large the community have adhered to the social distancing guidelines from the government, from public health. Uh, uh, at one time, Los Els Road High Street was completely on lockdown other than one or two essential shops. So, you know, I th the community's done everything possible. The, the religious institutions have been closed uh, and continue to be closed. Um, and for me, the, the one thing, and th this isn't something that's come overnight, for years the community uh, and the elected representatives have been demanding better primary care services. But there has been so a problem. Come... No, I mean, but there's been a problem getting GP and other services into the area for a while, and you're not the only area to suffer that. You, you've asked for an urgent review within the next three months. So we are in an emergency. We're in an emergency situation, um, and, and it's been made quite clear from all authorities that these are difficult and challenging times. I want the health commissioners to do everything possible to ensure that my constituents are getting the right level of service they deserve. And, and I don't think, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, and I don't, I don't say this lightly, I don't think my constituents have been treated fairly by health commissioners for a long time, and that has to change. Have they said that to you specifically? They being the health commissioners. No, the, your, your constituents, the, the people you speak to in the area. So it, absolutely. In 2015, over a thousand people signed a petition asking for an urgent care uh, centre here in Lazelles. Every other day, I get uh, constituents of mine contacting me, telling me they can't get GP appointments. And, I, and when I point the finger at health commissions, I'm also pointing the finger at GPs. They, the GPs will have to step up. I, this has to change in our neighbourhood, and there's no two ways about it. Uh, Wasim Zafar, a councillor. Uh...